One year ago, Dos Cada started out as an idea among two friends, but now with San Diego and New York Fashion Week under their belt, they are on a runway to success. And here's more on how the designers are bringing beauty to San Diego women all over the county, one bathing suit at a time. Dos Cada Swimwear was started by two San Diego beach lovers where they wanted to make all women feel comfortable while laying out and enjoying the sun. We just feel there's a portion of bathing suits that are missing. It's either really tiny bathing suits or grandma bathing suits. And nothing that's kind of like modest in between where you can feel comfortable having a beer and going out in front of your family. So we created this because it was something we felt that was missing. The inspiration for the line has come from friends and family members, but there is a meaning behind its name. It just means two faces. So we have like different personalities too. So. Aida is completely different from I am. I'm a little bit more bohemian and reserved, and she's a little bit more... I'm fun. Yeah, she's <laughs> loud. <laughs> In less than a year, Dos Cadas has strutted the runways from San Diego to New York, and the line has made significant progress in a short amount of time. For us, it was just such a surreal experience coming from San Diego and being our second collection that we pretty much turned around in like a month and a half. It was just, I mean, I still can't believe we pulled it off. The designer's ultimate goal is to sell their swimsuits and give all women a happier swimwear experience. And you can get your hands on the 2013 fall and spring line at doscottaswimwear.com. For now, I either instant let to want all of San Diego to know that they are keeping it local. Keeping it local, everything. Trying to keep it as local as possible. We're both San Diego natives, yeah. so it's really important for us to keep everything in San Diego as local as possible. So we buy our fabric here, we get our things. So like everything is in San Diego County. And that's like the beauty of our bathing suits. It's we're from San Diego, going to the beach is part of our, you know, like our livelihood. And so just to be able to support the community who is really important for us. Be sure to watch out for Dos Cada Swimwear during San Diego Fashion Week. And to purchase your new swimsuit, just head to doscadaswimwear.com. And you may be wearing Dos Cadas during the, during the day this weekend, but what will you do at night? Dallas Richter is here to fill us in on that concert calendar. Thank you, Charlie and Nate. But first, the numbers from Hollywood. Forbes' top five highest paid actress list came out this week, and from the looks of it, it pays to be on a hit TV show. Sofia Vergara topped the list for the second year in a row, raking in $30 million this year. A huge chunk of that is from her hit show Modern Family, but she has a few endorsement deals as well. Second place on the list is shared by Kaylee Cuoco of Big Bang Theory and Law & Order SVU's Mariska Hargitay, both bringing in $11 million a year. Fourth place is pretty crowded with seven leading ladies, each earning $10 million. Sharing the spot are comedian Tina Fey, reality star turned talk show host Bethany Frankel, Mike and Molly star, Melissa McCarthy and the lovely Kardashian sisters. Not a bad list to be on if you ask me. Okay, this is something that I absolutely love. A musical based on the life of late rapper Tupac Shakur is coming to Broadway. According to the Wall Street Journal, Holla If You Hear Me, it will center around nonviolence. The show features Tupac's music, but it is not a biography of the rapper's life. Shakur's family is completely on board, and his mother is even one of the producers. And while the cast has yet to be named, the director has confidence in the ensemble's ability to bring Tupac's nonviolent message to life. Their opening is open this season. And get this, people. A group of artists have turned Indonesia's volcanic Mount Merapi into one of the world's most unusual instruments. Listen to this. That is a mountain-operated synthesizer. It kind of sounds like dial-up internet, right? It was built near the top of the volcano and reacts to changes in wind, temperature, and moisture. The team of Indonesian and Australian artists that put the synthesizer together wanted to create an experimental musical instrument. It sounds like a kind of alien chorus, uh, somewhere between man, music, machine, and nature electronics, bamboo, cotton, and sensors, amongst other things, to make its eerie sound. The next stages of the project are set for next year in Melbourne and again in Indonesia. And are you wondering what to do this weekend? There is a lot of amazing live music coming to town. This is your concert calendar for the next few days. Tonight, Long Beach resident funk band Delta Nove is at Aubergine, Dave Matthews Band will play at Sleep Train Amphitheater, and Kid Cudi will be at Valley View Casino Center. 
Tomorrow night, you can see my new favorite jam man, Brothers Gao, at Mother's Saloon in OB. And while you're there, try some of Mother's famous house cured bacon. Sunday night, tobacco will be getting all weird with their lights and sounds at the Casbah. So that's what I recommend for this weekend. Of course, there are so many things to do, so get up, get out there, and discover some great music. All right, people? That's all I got for you this week. Are you going to go out and see some of those shows? Well, I'm actually looking forward to Vampire Weekend uh, coming up this week. All right. A couple weeks from now. I'll see you there. There's okay. so many great events. I don't know which one to choose. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Dallas. And is it finally cooling down this weekend for San Diego? Find out when we come back with our full weather forecast. Excuse me. <laughs> well, hello. Hi. My internet connection's acting up. Do you know anything about hot spots? You know, if you angle yourself 45 degrees to the north, your computer's Wi-Fi card will uh, extrapolate the router signal more efficiently. Kate Enter is going to come up with a dialog box. are still trying to beat the heat. James Smith is here to let us know when we can expect a cool down. Lute, Charlie, one word. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. And it's going to continue to be hot through the weekend. It won't be cooling off until about the middle of next week. But first, let's go to, the, uh, go to our county temps. Uh, at the airport, it's 79 degrees. Humidity is 65 degrees. Excuse me, 65%. Winds from the west at 6 to 10 miles per hour. Surf is at two to three feet west facing and two to three feet south facing. The water temperature is a nice comfortable 65 to 66 degrees. Sunset at 7.07 this evening. Sunrise will be tomorrow morning at 6.27. Let's take a look at the temperatures around the county. As you can see uh, from Oceanside down to downtown, we're in the lower 80s with Chula Vista at peaking at 86 degrees. Moving into the inland, it is around the 92, 93 degrees and out to Julian and El Cajon in 98 and 90 degrees. Now moving on to the national map, you will see that we are, the whole country is pretty much experiencing a, a somewhat of a heat wave, except for in the northern sections, uh, the northern section up here on the northwest side. As you can see, it's 67 degrees, and also up here, excuse me, up here in the northeast direction is 64 degrees, but in the middle of the, in the middle of the country, it is supremely hot. Now, this, here, this map here shows you the difference in normal temperatures, and as you can see, in the middle of the country, it's from 6 degrees to tw almost 20 degrees of difference. Uh, down here in our area, switching around, down here in our area, as you can see, the orange area, what that means is there's a heat advisory, and then the blue area, that means there's a flash flood watch. That means conditions are set up for thunderstorms that could possibly send a flash flood watch on, going on. Now, moving on to our mountains and... Yes. Moving on to our beaches and mountains, our inland, uh, on the coast is mostly sunny, 79 degrees with uh, 69 degrees low temperature. Uh, in the inland, it's 95 degrees with a low temperature of 76 degrees and mostly sunny. <clears throat> in the mountains, it's 90 degrees with a low temperature of 65 degrees. And in the deserts, it's 105 degrees with a low temperature of 80 degrees and also thunderstorms. I uh, would like to remind everyone to stay hydrated, as we were, uh, mentioned earlier in the telecast. Um, men are supposed to uh, uh, consume at least three liters and women 2.2 liters. So be careful out there. Make sure you have your sunscreen and take good care of yourself. Have a good day. Thank you, James. Thank you. And here's something else that's really hot. This week marks the 50th anniversary of the psychedelic lava lamp. Invented by British inventor Edward Craven Walker in 1963, his inspiration came from homemade egg timer he saw in a pub. Whoever thought a novelty item inspired by breakfast would still be such a hit, but 50 years later, they are still as popular as ever. In honor of this milestone, flip on that lava lamp, light some incense, and groove to your favorite tunes from the 60s and 70s. Happy birthday, Lava Lamp. Here's to 50 more.
I remember back in that day, I, well, I'm, I'm quote, dating myself not that long ago, but I used to own a level and that's a little red one. So. I did, t actually my sister did, and she had a little pink and purple one that was really cute. Very I loved nice, it. very nice. <laughs> and happy birthday to Maria Sousa. And that's this edition of News Scene. I'm Charlie Veramontes. And I'm Nate Holmes. Thank you for joining us.